The German children's series B.B. Blocksburg has been around since the early 1980s, and its spin-off, B.B. and Tina, now has a video game adaptation with B.B. and Tina at the horse farm. But is this one worth horsing around with on your console, or is it truly a nightmare to behold? B.B. and Tina at the Horse Farm is a simple horse riding game that unfortunately will only appeal to young gamers and doesn't really provide a lot for horse enthusiasts. In fact, the Barbie Horse Adventure series provided more content in that department. In the game, you're taking the role of either B.B. or Tina. You can go back to the main menu and switch between the characters if you'd like to, though there's no difference between them. The other character, though, is always with you and joins you for the adventure, always by your side, or at least always tries to be by your side. The game is broken up into a few modes, but the main mode features 18 missions for you to complete. There is a little bit of text story, but it really doesn't provide much. Basically, every single mission in the game has you starting at one point and having to get to another within a time limit. It does change up the way these are done. Sometimes you'll have rings to go through and get time added on. Other ones you'll just have to get to a certain point far across the map within a strict time limit. And then there's ones where you have to stay on a path, and if you deviate off that path, the timer ends up going quicker. I was actually surprised at how strict some of the time limits at least felt while I was playing the game, so I think some young gamers may get frustrated at some of the later missions just due to how strict the time is and the controls on the horse aren't great. On the horse, all you're able to do is move and sprint, but the horse does not control well at all, very heavy, it's hard sometimes to maneuver it around certain things. If you hit just a slight edge, you'll end up coming to a dead stop. You also come to a dead stop if you run out of your stamina bar, so making sure that you keep that at a nice steady pace and at least something on that at all times is essential for completing some of those harder missions. Unfortunately, you're unable to get off of the horse and walk around on foot as BB or Tina, and I don't really think they do a whole lot with the license. I didn't know a whole lot about the series going in, don't really know a whole lot after playing the game. There is some included extras like collectibles to keep an eye out for, as well as some mini-games. Well, honestly, they're more like micro-games. You move like a cursor around to either spray your horse off or massage it in the right spot. They don't really add a whole lot as far as gameplay, but they do add a bit of boosted stats to your horse if you complete them. Even with having to replay a few missions and the frustration of the controls, it's unfortunately not a very long game, just a couple of hours in order to complete the game's missions. Presentation-wise, the game doesn't really look all that great. There's an absolute ton of texture popping, even just objects right next to the characters coming in as you're going down the path. Other than that, from the technical side of things, it didn't crash on me, but all the issues, whether it be controls or just the little clipping things with various environmental issues, the game just wasn't a whole lot of fun to play through. BB and Tina at the Horse Farm is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $19.99. It does feature a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on the Nintendo Switch. Unfortunately, BB and Tina at the Horse Farm isn't the most well put together game. It's not even very different from last year's BB and Tina Adventure with Horses. This one's based off the cartoon and that the live action movie franchise being the biggest difference, but honestly I think that one looked a bit better. But if you bought that last year, absolutely loved it, this is more of the same. I think there's a little bit more content in this one, but that's not really saying a whole lot. There are better games, I think, out there for young gamers. The Paw Patrol game is very simple, but honestly a bit more enjoyable than something like BB and Tina was. With everything said, I'm going to be giving BB and Tina at the Horse Farm a 3 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.